Hmm, I'm thinking red for this video. I'm thinking red. Oh, I got on my mic. See this? This is already vodka. <laughs> the channel today we're going to be watching a quiet place <sighs> another horror movie for october spooky season <sighs> this is going to be the the scariest horror movie we've done so far on this channel because like hollow okay like what we've done technically is like we've done hereditary we've done midsummer we've done scream we've done halloween and like okay those <sighs> They weren't like scary scary like they made they definitely made me jump but they weren't like oh my god i'm gonna piss myself because i'm so scared right now you know you know and as far as i know a quiet place is pretty damn scary you know i'm looking at the summary of it and it goes if they hear you they hunt you if family must live in silence to avoid mysterious creatures that hunt by sound knowing that even the slightest whisper footstep can bring death Evelyn and Lee are determined to find a way to protect their children while desperately searching for a way to fight back, right? Okay. Okay, doesn't sound too bad. And so as far as I understand, this is going to be the scariest movie we've watched on the channel so far. And I was like, you know what? This sounds like the scariest one I can actually handle. So let's do this one. And like, I remember seeing the trailer to this movie a couple years ago when it definitely looked pretty scary, but it wasn't like, okay, I'm going to need therapy afterwards. Kind of scary, you know, this, this looks like a scary movie that I could watch and then go to bed right after completely fine. So anyways, I'm going to stop wasting time. We're just going to hop right into this movie. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction that'll be available on patreon so let's get started the fuck oh, okay it's just a girl okay so it's like some type of apocalypse has happened okay it looks like he's sick and she's trying to find him medicine he's okay yeah, they're using sign language being extra quiet because those things are hunting the hunt you by your sound so okay dude i already know this movie yeah it's gonna be this movie's gonna be so goddamn quiet and then they're just gonna jump scare the fuck i mean by just getting extremely loud they're gonna do it when i least expect it oh good catch you literally just you could have just killed all of us. Listen to me. Too loud. Yeah, to play with that. Alright, we're all gonna die because of him. Okay, so like, this movie picks up already in the post-apocalyptic world, you know? They're, this family's trying to survive. They already know that if they make sound they'll be hunted i thought i thought it was gonna pick up like just them living their normal lives and then figuring that out and then, then figuring out that they're being hunted by the sound they make and everything but oh no oh no he turned it on ah you freaking ah you freaking turkey trying so hard not to scream oh what the hell is that oh they took the kid day 472 all right well all right be that kid <laughs> hey you got caught lacking they can hear you what you need to know to survive yep creature blind attack sound armor 
I mean, I read the summary before we watched, before we started the movie, so like I I know. Okay, so I'm guessing there's not going to be much dialogue in this movie. Why would you start? Oh, she's just like it's like pretending to drive because yeah, if you start that car, you're you're dead. Aw, uh, R.I.P. <laughs> Jesus Christ! How do you do that? Like... Uh, Jesus... He just give us away? Hmm... Okay, how fucking close are these things at, like, all times to where if I go like this, I get, yeah, they're blind, so they can only rely on their hearing, but, like, still. I feel like in order for them to hear me, they would have to be so close at all times, I would be able to see them, you know? Like, bro, they're probably just chilling on his roof, and then they heard the lantern break and everything. <coughs> Ooh. Oh, I you scared. Well, next time, don't be a freaking dummy, okay? Oh, these raccoons are dead. Ah, yep. Like, okay, let's just say there's one of these things in my front yard right now, you know, and I had to be quiet. Bro, no chance it could hear me talking. <laughs> Unless it has, like, super hearing or something. It could hear, like, up to a mile away. I don't know. <laughs> this is a nice moment. Day 473. Hmm. Due date. Okay. Oh my fucking god. <sighs> we cannot go down there. Why not? You know why? I'm not a child. I won't make a sound. Just don't. Wait, this time I took a small I took small amplifiers from the stereo. It won't work. No, this should increase the frequency. It never works, but we'll keep trying until it does. Time to go. Please don't make me go. You'll be fine. Your father will always protect you, always to take care of me when I'm old and gray and I have no teeth. I'll go. You should stay and help your mother. I want to go. Just stay here. I mean, she wants to go more than he does. doesn't work or yeah I don't think it works wouldn't they all be attracted to the sound this rivers making right now you know wouldn't they just be hanging out over here I don't know <laughs> and he caught a fish Maybe. they'll hear you Yeah, river's loud. Small sounds. Safe. There's another sound nearby that's louder. Okay, wait. I just thought of something. When she does give birth and it's her due date, how is she not going to make a, a fucking sound? Like, how is she not going to make a sound? Do you know how... That's a, I feel like that's literally impossible. Oh, she's going to drop this. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh. That was a close one. That was that was a very small sound. Oh, someone's gonna fucking step on that later. And they're all barefoot too. Someone's stepping on that and they're gonna scream. It's gonna go right through your foot too, because you're gonna put all your weight down there, because you're not thinking about that, you just think it's a step. 
And it's, oh, that'd be so painful. Oh, he's showing him. It doesn't matter because we're right next to a waterfall. We're all right. Oh. Wow, first time he's talked. Okay, not too loud, not too loud. Don't get too comfortable. Why didn't you let her come? Well, now the mom's all by herself, so if the mom messes up, well... <laughs> Do you blame her for what happened? Ooh. No, I wouldn't blame her for that, for the smaller kid dying. Because she blames herself. Oof. Yeah, this is the bridge where it happened, yeah. I guess she could blame herself because let him get too far behind and then wasn't paying attention to what he was doing. But like... It was no one's fault. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, I got the wires on that, make sure. Still love her, right? Of course. Of course I do. Yeah. Aw, still lights up, but doesn't make a sound. You should tell her. Yeah, I probably should. Twenty sixteen to two thousand twenty. Damn, it's just four years old. Hmm. Oh my fucking god. Jesus Christ. That scared the shit out of me. Oh no. He, he just killed that lady. And if one of us makes a noise, he could literally just suicide and scream. Motherfucker. Yeah, he wants to die at that point. And I don't know if he actually killed that girl. I'm assuming that lady was his wife. I don't even know if he killed her. I, he probably just like found her body because she got killed or something. And so he was like, all right, well, there's no point for me to live. <laughs> oh no, it's hot. Oh no. Oh, oh no. How do you not make a sound too? Like, just put like a rag in your mouth and like scream into that, you know? But her husband's not even back yet to like help her and stuff. Oh, and then when the baby comes out, the baby's gonna be crying too. Oh no. Bro, what do you even do at that point? Bro, you would you would literally need a soundproof room. Yeah, why don't you just live in a soundproof house? Boom. Oh <gasps> fuck. Fuck. And A. Yeah, she's trying so hard not to scream right now. Oh Ah. Uh. Uh. Dude, I'm trying, I'm trying to watch, but like... Okay, okay. God damn. While letting her husband know. As soon as, you know, when he's... Ooh! Oh shit, it's in the house. Oh fuck. What, like, loud noise did she make? I think they just wandered in. Never mind, she, I don't, she doesn't know her daughter's gone, so she's probably like, fuck. Oh yeah, she's gonna twist that shit and just throw that out there, you know, get them the fuck away from her. But dude, she's probably trying so hard to not, like, her foot and the fact that she's giving birth. Oh. Oh yeah, she's probably bleeding so- Oh, she's bleeding so bad. 
and watch. Yeah, her husband's gonna see the red lights. I'm pretty sure the re the red lights was like I'm giving birth now, right? Because she turned them on before she saw the thing. But she can't tell him the thing is in there. Watch, it's probably gonna go right up to her face or whatever, and it's gonna be so hard for her to just not make a sound. It looks like something from Stranger Things. Like the Mind Flayer, kinda. Ah. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, look at those ears, dude. Yep. All right, go, 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 go. What if there's another one, though? Is there? Oh, yep, yeah, there's another one out there. Okay, he sees him, so. Rocket. I need you to make a sound that's louder. Your mother needs your help. Yep, time to be brave. You can do this. See, in this case, it would be good to have like an air horn, just in case, you know? Like a bunch of them, you know, for emergencies. So you can just like tape it and then just throw that shit. Or the timer. The timer was a pretty good idea too. Come on, son. Come on. Oh, yeah. Okay, how hard are these things to kill? That's what I want to know. Perfect timing, perfect timing. Like if he shoots, if he shoots this thing directly in the face with his shotgun, is that gonna kill it or not? Oh, where'd she go? Is she in the shower? I uh, can't tell. See, he probably thinks she died. Oh my fucking god, yeah, she's in the shower. I, I wouldn't have, I'd give like a little knock, like a, you know, oh, the baby's, damn, the baby's already out. Well, the things are blind, so it's not like they can see the flashlight. Oh no, the sound though, that's. Oh no, him running through the corn maze, that's, that's, that's so loud. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, so she already gave birth. I thought it takes like that's like a twelve hour thing. Like a nine to twelve hour thing. Okay, whatever. And why is that baby not okay, well there it goes. See what do you do now? Like Bro, she busted that baby out in like 10, 20 minutes. <laughs> the baby in a box <laughs> right, I give it an oxygen mask and put it put it in a box you know oh shit oh uh, no mm. okay but can it smell you too because if it can smell you then you're you're dead mm. oh her thing it's like an interference. It's like the frequency, like, hurt their- okay. Hurt their ears, too. It worked. Yep, they have a soundproof room, I guess. Where are they? Yeah, your other two kids? Where are they? I'll find them. Mm. She was with me, and, and then I had to go and do laundry, and- 
No, she dipped. So he'd still be there. I'm sure he is. He knows to wait for you. And she isn't. Hopefully. Smart. She'll have found a place. Hopefully. So I could have cared. Should have cared. Yeah, about the first kid. You will protect them. Try my best. Oh, he's crying. I feel like he's not gonna be there. It's just gonna be the flashlight because he got, he got waxed. Yep. <gasps> oh, motherfucker. He's hiding. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah, yeah, smart. Go up there. Good shit. Let them know by starting a fire. Or I'll just chill up there for the rest of the night. <laughs> Uh, fire's out. There's no shot he's gonna be able to see him on the security cams. You could. Don't worry, he'll come for us. You could just wave your flashlight, you know. Hey, uh, worst case, he'll just find you the next day. Actually, it might be harder to find him in broad daylight because you can't wave the flashlight or anything. You can't really. You can't start another fire. Oh, she's noticing all the water. Ah, shit. But you can't start another fire. And yeah, the flashlight won't work midday. You can't, it's not like you can just scream or whatever. Be like, hey, I'm up here. You can't do that. But I'm sure the dad will think to look up there. Oh no, dude, this is flooded. <gasps> oh shit, there's one in. Oh fuck. Oh shit. If it find, dude, if it finds that baby in there, and the, it hears the baby, like, what, what do you do? Wait, I'm just throwing something across the room to get it away from me. Oh, fuck that. Not the throwing something, like, thing going underwater. <laughs> but, oh, oh, wait, the baby thing's open? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no. The baby's gonna wake up and start crying. <laughs> Bro, you gotta cover that baby's mouth so it can't scream or like, it won't hear it scream. But it's like, can the does the can the baby breathe through its nose yet? Probably not, but it's learning today. I feel like that's just an instinctive thing for a baby to do, like you know. Look, I get the dad's trying to find the kids, but it should not have left her, like. But he, I mean, at the same time, he thought she was good down there. We can't stay here. Why can't we? We need to go. Why? We're, I feel like we're chilling up here. He will come for us. He'll come for you. Oh my god, bro. Motherfucker. Damn, that thing heard that all the way in the silo. Holy shit. Okay, they have supersonic hearing. Or whatever. Cause that, that side was pretty fucking far away from the house. Oh no, it's like quick saying he's gonna drown. Oh, that'd be so terrible. That'd be so scary. <gasps> Bro, that could have taken his his head off or no dude, don't die like that. Come on. No, they're both gonna slip in it. <gasps> That's so shitty. Come on, get her, get her, get her, get her. Oh, thank God. He got her. But that thing is on its way, dude. Okay, well, at least, at least they didn't drown in the corn. What, you're gonna drown yourselves. All right, 
Ran away again. That's clutch. Oh, I just tore a hole out of the side. Damn, a hole any bigger, all that corn would start to fall out and make a bunch of noise. But I'm pretty sure his real life name is John. I don't know his last name, but I'm pretty sure the first name is John. I don't know. I'm gonna look it up after. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> Motherfucker. How many of them did you just attract? But it hurts her every time that happens, too. Yeah, she has to just turn that off, dude. Oh, yeah, he's not giving up that easy. He's gonna sacrifice himself. He's gonna... Yeah. No. I love you. Aw, oh, that's so sad. I've al I have always loved you. Uh -huh. But I shed a tear. And the mom's watching too on the security cam. Ah. Ah. Uh. Are you gonna attract more than just this one though? Damn. R.I.P. Dude. Fuck. R.I.P. Jake Gyllenhaal. Dude, Jake Gyllenhaal is doing a really good job in this. <laughs> I'm kidding. I know that's not Jake Gyllenhaal. Dude, I... Okay, it was funny. It's like, I recognize the dad as an actor, but I don't know his name. He reminds me of Jake Gyllenhaal, and he reminds me of the other guy from The Office. <laughs> oh, don't step on that. Dude, you better tell him about that fucking nail. You better tell him about that nail before they, one of them accidentally... Oh, but she's not allowed to go down here. Oh, like earlier or something. Tell her about that goddamn nail! Because if they step on it, she's... I feel like she'll scream. Okay, never mind. She missed it. Alright. I mean, it's pretty obvious now with all the blood, I guess. Hell yeah. Oh, that's it? Oh, okay. Shit. Well, that was a quiet place. <gasps> oh my fucking god. I just went to go stop recording and I'm unable to record video. How far in did I get before that? How far in of that clip that I get before it filled up. Fuck me. All right, so that was a quiet place. My memory card filled up. I, I just checked and I lost the last 15 minutes of it, which kind of sucks, which really sucks. And so I'll have to see like where it cut off exactly tomorrow. I hope I at least got the dad's death. Like I hope like that, at least that happened and then it cut off a little bit later. Damn. Yeah, Jake Gyllenhaal is pretty good in this. I would say, okay, I know it's not Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> I know. That actor just looks so much like him. I mean, not really. Like, first glance, you're like, huh? But it's because I, I don't really, I'm not really familiar with that actor. So, like, first glance to me is like, is that Jake Gyllenhaal? I'm like, no, it's not. Okay, I thought this movie was pretty solid. It's, it definitely wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be. Oh, I, f I feel like my perception of just horror movies are just totally off. Like, I expect them to be way worse than they actually are. Because I think I was just traumatized as a kid. Like, I okay, one thing I remember very clearly is just walking in my living room when I was like six or like five or six. Or something like that. And Jeepers Creepers was playing. And mm, I fucking, I could not get, I couldn't even watch like five minutes of that movie. I was like, get me the fuck out of here. So like I bolted it back into my room, you know? And like, I'm sure if I were to watch it now, I probably wouldn't think it's that scary. But like, I just remember being so young and seeing like, just they were like walking into a cave or something. And I just thought that was the scariest shit ever. And so I guess I just assumed like every horror movie is just like as scary as how I perceived that little clip of Jeepers Creepers to be.
This movie, yeah, this movie wasn't really scary. It was like, it was intense though. It was more intense. I guess it's just better to expect the most out of a scary movie and then just have it end up being like, oh, that wasn't that bad. Like, oh, that wasn't bad at all, you know? Because the last thing I'd want to do is underestimate how scary a movie is going to be. And keep in mind, I don't watch scary movies at all. Ever since that Jeepers Creepers moment, I was like, hell no. You know, and then I, I remember watching Insidious when I was a lot younger too. Like, okay, Insidious came out in 2010. So I was probably like 11 or something when I first saw it. And oh my God. Okay, that picture, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's like the dad sitting sitting down and you can just see a demon behind him that picture that clip literally traumatized me oh my god then after the then after i saw that movie every time i would just see that clip or whatever like see that picture i would literally like my body would literally just freeze and like i literally have a stroke every time i saw it you know it's not that bad now but it's like right after i saw the movie i'd see the picture and i would literally like my body would literally just freeze and like take a screenshot i thought this movie had a really interesting concept you know you make a sound these creatures come after and come after you and hunt you you know i feel like there's some flaws with it you know because like like the river right the river is pretty loud and the waterfall is pretty loud so wouldn't they just hang out around there if they're just attracted to the sound you know and like how far away can they hear you know like yeah i guess they just have like super hearing ability so you know what you know what i thought of why don't they just soundproof the house i mean it's probably easier said than done it's probably really fucking hard to do that but still it's like you go you live in a soundproof house boom problem solved this movie definitely had a couple really good jump scares too but besides that it wasn't that scary but overall i had a lot of fun with this movie would i watch it again yeah probably probably would so yeah that was a quiet place comment down below what you thought about this movie down below in the comments and if you liked the video like the video and thanks for watching